Hit the cap. Yeah, 128 people, oh, good 128 Lord. people registered for the tournament. So Ooh, that's, that's going to be pretty crazy. I'm really curious to see how that format goes, to be honest. Just see, like, how competitive you can make a game like Mario Party. Well, just think about it in general. Like, party games are yeah. just in nature competitive because I there's going to so, yeah. be a winner. Yeah, I can see that. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm really excited to see all the Mario Party <laughs> games <laughs> happening at the same time. A little uh, sad that we don't get to stream the Final Four. So I think that would have been a lot of fun. But you know what? Maybe next time. Yeah, I mean, hopefully uh, we get a Switch Fest 2020 to see a little bit more of the other games as well. But right now we're going to be jumping right into our first match with Takeos versus Yoshi, or Takeos versus Paper Bag, Yoshi versus Lucina. Now this is a, obviously a matchup that on paper you would think is Lucina favored. You know, Yoshi historically had this trouble with disjoints. Mm -hmm. And Lucina, one of the better swords in the game, of course. Yeah, I mean, Lucina not having a sour spot on her sword, having those great aerials, just big hitboxes, make yeah. it very difficult for Yoshi to really stay in his face. But at the same time, Yoshi is a much different beast than he was before. Yeah. And already Takeo showing off, you know, once he gets in on Paper Bag and his Lucina, it's been so difficult for Paper Bag to escape at all. And already the first stock taken, you know, quick 120-something percent and then just an early stock less than a minute into this game. Mm -hmm. As you can see, starting to see a little bit more aerials coming out. Paper Bag pushing that A button. Oh, but the drag down back here does connect, but not able to really follow up. Tito's slowly extending his lead. Yeah, and we are seeing a lot of times that Paper Bag is like trying to short hop, retreat back or something, and then land with a forward air. And Takeos is just opting to jump into his face and call him out before he starts his descent to throw the forward air out and just meeting the jump halfway and getting the first hit. Oh, it's so unfortunate. Paper Bag <laughs> was drifting off to the side, trying to reset on the ledge, which is very smart. Sometimes you you, know, like, you really don't want to be landing on your opponent in this game. Oh my god, and the dare jab lock into the forward smash. Already 57%. He's looking to end it already. And I've seen Takedos go off so many times. He really just wants Another to... He's trying to dunk Paper Bag. Yeah, this is looking very good for Takedos right now. Jab lock into the forward smash once again. I, he got like three setups with a jab lock on that last stock alone. I mean, you can't be caught off guard when you're getting hit by down tilt. This leaves, like, very low launching moves. They don't launch you too far, but they put you in, into a tech situation. Yeah. You have to be prepared. Otherwise, you're going to get jab locked. And you're going to get F smash. Yeah, and especially after, you know, the first one connected at zero, Takios was very keen on the fact that Paper Bag wasn't teching those. Yeah. And he said, I'm just going to keep doing it till you eventually stop letting me. And we never saw the change. Yeah. That is the secret to fighting games. You find something your opponent's weak at, you abuse it until they figure it out. So running right back to Pokemon Stadium. Let's see if uh, t if Paper Bag is able to make the adjustment, maybe tech some of those uh, those down airs and down tilts. All right, so far it's going a lot better right now, playing around his sword a lot. He actually has a lead here on this game number two. Already putting Taquitos at 100%, just chasing him all over the stage. Oh, no. That was a big reversal right there for Taquitos, though. That down air sang up into the up air as well. And now, all of a sudden, he's stolen the lead away from Paper Bag. That's going to be a big punish, though. Yes, F smash on the down B. I mean, that Yoshi down B can be kind of deceptive sometimes, especially when it's used, like, when you're under a platform. But... There was no deception there. He was clearly Ooh. going to get punished. Yeah, but a great B reverse down B right there from Takeos. He's going to be able to punish the cross up fair on his shield and get the stock away. And then already 40, 50% rather off of just a few clean hits from Takeos. All right, a couple up tilts, easy damage. Oh, using a back air to actually beat out the egg throw and put on a little bit of damage on his Takeos. And he calls out the air dodge with an up smash ready right under him, punishes it with an up smash, and it will take the stock and it's a big lead here for Takeos. I like the, the the change that we're starting to see from Paperback, though. You know, he's making it, he's doing a lot more short hop fares. Oh, that's... Which is not going to really allow Takeos to put him in those tech situations. But even right there, just those short hop fares coming in clutch. Yeah, I mean, he was ready for Takeos to go for an aggressive option onto the stage with the lead that he had, you know, double jump with a forward air or something. And a forward smash punish is going to be able to take that stock. 
and now all of a sudden he has a big lead again, and that down air just evening it up so much damage for Yoshi. That's right. Okay. You finally saw the first tech situation. Here comes another one, but able to escape. Paper bag. Oh, good tech. Yeah, he's finally starting to get these techs in, but a misspaced forward air will be punished by the forward smash from Takios. And actually right there, you know, it's really cool to see the forward smash used like that to kind of shift his hurt box backwards with the reel up of the beginning of the forward smash. Mm -hmm. The forward air whiffs, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> the Ryan 